Blah. <laughs> this is a classic. Uh, this is from my <clears throat> this is from my formative years. Okay, my teenage years. We all go through the rite of passage. That is a that is trauma, right? Uh, directed by Richard W. Haynes and Lloyd Coffin. This is when trauma was really swinging for the fences. Like, you know, I feel like trauma eventually fell into this rut of like, obviously not that they don't put 150% into everything that they do, but they just sort of like, I feel like really, it's really S Sergeant Kabuki man was the last time that they tried to really make a motion picture that was supposed to be like commercially viable on a, on a, in a way that was going to compete in some kind of mainstream market, even if it was a mainstream horror market. I feel like class of Newcomb High is one of their biggest attempts. The pupils at high school next door to a nuclear power plant start acting and looking strange after buying contaminated drugs from a plant worker. I mean, that is the loosest of plots. The, the, this movie really does not have a plot at all. Um, you have the bad guys from the Toxic Avenger return. This time they play someone, uh, Spike, and I forget the name of the other guy. You also have the uh, the mayor of Tromaville comes back as the, I guess he's like the uh, head of the power plant. And it's just, yeah, it's just sort of like a, it's just sort of a slice of life. You know what I mean? It's just a slice of life in Tromaville. Jody is here. Hi, Jody. How are you? Jody Ramon. Amy says, class of Newcomb High. Oh, my God. My dad and I watched this when I was little. It was weird, eerie, and zany. Amy, you have the coolest dad ever if he's showing you the class of Newcomb High. That's awesome. Um, just, just a, yeah, I mean, for me, like, being, like, 14, 15 years old, watching this movie, just friggin' loving it. So the guy I used to watch it, my my very good friend, my one of my best friends who I've known since I was two, who I discovered this movie with, he came over last night and we sat and we watched Class of Newcomb High. We hadn't seen it in decades. The last time that we both had seen it, we probably watched it together. And it was just always, you know, ah, just really want to know what's going on do 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 at new gum high what's going on dun, 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 dun. at new and you know what i love i love that other song uh the ja do do no 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 ready ha but you do 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 and you got the cretins and i don't know man it's great they did some sequels. I never watched the sequels. They did two back-to-back -back sequels in the 90s. And then Lloyd came back and did Return to Newcomb High Parts 1 and 2. I saw Part 1, and it kind of is a mess. I mean, this movie is a mess, too. You know what's funny? I was watching it, and I was going, huh, there's a lot of rock and roll high school. It's almost like, it's almost like Lloyd Kaufman and whoever else was like, okay, let's take rock and roll high school and fuse it with our toxic avenger and do our own sort of thing and that's basically what they end up doing um rlh thinks it's better than the brat pack movies okay fine i'm not gonna argue with that i will say this though um there's an event that happens in a school that you know, at the time when this was made, it was probably like, well, that is like such an isolated, rare, you know, thing. It doesn't happen. And therefore, you know, it's something we can kind of dramatize in this goofy kind of over the top way, you know, because trauma is out there to shock you in the same way that like the kid in Tosca Avenger who gets his head run over and, and popped like a frigging grape. You know what I mean? Um and you're just not expecting that it's like in this one it's like whoa like what they you know you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about at the school at the school and i'm going like fuck like that does not work in the year 2024 that's insane dude that's friggin insane think about that it, you know the idea of of that of that in a in a horror movie you know, and listen, it's a product of its times. I'm not here. I'm not holding it against it, you know, but it's just amazing how it's like, whoa, that does not work today. And the Cretans, all their costumes, the characters, Gonzo with his like weird mouth guard. And like I said, there's Spike, there's uh, Beethoven. Um, 
just just great weird quirkiness and again there's there's no real plot two teens they they smoke pot they have sex it's kind of like a reefer madness there's also like so it's like reefer madness uh toxic avenger and rock and roll high school all mixed up into one right and i gotta tell you and this is what i'm talking about like that they really didn't pull any punches dude the friggin' monster at the end is really good. I mean, it's really the effects are good, man. Like it, it is a good that is a good looking friggin' monster. Um, you know, you could tell they were really they were trying their best. Uh, and yeah, man, it'll always have a special place in my heart. A movie I will watch forever in tandem when you know whenever the whenever uh, enough years have passed and it's time to throw it on again, go back to new come high. What's going on? Do, 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 do. That is a great thing. New come high. New come high. I just really want to know what's going on. Do, 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 do. Sorry. All right. Enough. Enough. 